Kenny, looking forward to a, a tough challenge against a, a lower league team, but a team that's had some real success in, in the last round. They did. And, um, well, it's always difficult for a higher ranked team to, uh, to come to a lower ranked team. Um, and we know what they have been doing in the past, uh, beating out Melbourne Victory. Um, so it's not going to be easy, but um, we're going to go there for the win. How are you settling into Adelaide United? Are you gelling well with, with the new team? Yeah, so far it's been good. It, uh, it's been a long pre-season. For me, I've never done a, such a long pre-season before. Um, but yeah, I'm settling good in. In the beginning I was a bit injured, but um, now I'm, uh, I'm good on, good in fitness. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward. Have you got an idea if your role this year will be more as a striker or, or behind the striker? Or is it, is it I, think it I think it depends a little bit on when we win. <laughs> so if I'm as a number 10 when we win, then I'll probably play there. It depends a little bit also against the team we're playing. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Are you ready to start tomorrow? Will you start? I don't know yet. We'll see the starting lineup tomorrow, but I hope so. I'm ready for it. So, what do, what do you know about RPA? Have you done any scouting? Obviously, it'll be difficult because they're a, a second tier team to actually know who they are. But. Well, I know a whole lot of team uh, behind here has been making a lot of, uh, lot of scouting on it, and uh, we're going to watch all that uh, tonight and tomorrow again. Um, but yeah, actually, I watched a little bit. Uh, watched a little bit of their game against uh, Melbourne Victory uh, with uh, Mirko Poland um, at his place. So uh, yeah, I've seen that they're especially dangerous as well in encounters. Um, when uh, well, the game against Melbourne Victory when they're in front and they were standing very low back, then uh, Victory had a lot of difficulties with dealing with their counters. So that's something we have to be aware of. But um, yeah, hopefully it won't get that far. Hopefully we um, will be leading straight away. Would, would it be embarrassing? If you lost to Arpia, because obviously Melbourne Victory is the reigning champion, they're, they're the number one club in mm. Australia. They lost, they didn't expect to lose. Now you're the another A League club lining up. You think it would be embarrassing for the team? So you're asking me if I'm expecting we should lose? No, no, no. <laughs> if you lost. Yeah, I can just tell you one thing. I, I never go into a game and think in what will happen if we lose, because I always want to win. Did the result come as a surprise when you saw that the victory had been beaten? I mean, yeah, it's always like that. If a lower ranked team wins against the higher placed team, it's just how it is. Um, but it's not easy, those games. It's not easy. So. Uh, you said you watched a little bit of them. What, yeah. what jumps out at you when you watch some of their gameplay? What particularly do you think is going to be a challenge for you guys? Well, as I said, like in those kind of cup games, it's also very important that straight away from the beginning that you show you're there and you're focused and you put a high pressure on them. Um, all those things that we have to bring from the beginning, um, not to get behind because if you get behind against those teams, it's really difficult. It makes it really difficult for you. Like I said before, um, with the counter attacks especially. So we need to make sure we're there from the start. And you mentioned it before, Marco last year came in and had a long, hard pre-season. Some of the players said it's the hardest they've ever done. Yeah. This year said it's been you know, pretty intense so far. It, Felt like it's really good though, or is it challenging? Kind of, yeah. What are your thoughts on the preseason? Uh, of course, I think it's too long. <laughs> but any player would say that because I just just want to play games that counts for something, like yep. games that where something is at stake, three points or cup game. Um, so for me, it's been it's been quite quite long. Um, but yeah, on, on, on the other um, the other side and the aspect of it, um, I have been having a very good time, a long time, to get my teammates to know and uh, to get in a good rhythm with them, so that speaks for it. Yeah, so positive that you can get to know your teammates, and I guess the hunger there for you now is yeah. obvious that you can actually get on the park and have a run. Yeah, but you know, for me, and I know it's always like also for the physical coaches, they are always trying to, to time um, the development of the players and the fitness especially, and it makes it a little bit difficult when the preseason is longer, because you have to make sure that the time that you're topping during the season it flatters a bit out, um, so yeah. What's, what's so difficult about it? Is it because you have to maintain a focus? I mean, you, because you had your last serious game, what, five weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you get another serious game in between. You've had friendly matches and I suppose you can't cage. Is it the focus, do you think? It's the focus. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just difficult when there's a long time between the games. I don't know if that's something to do with focus. It is just... I think football players are always um, always used to that if you don't do it well one week, you have a chance to make it better the next. And now when you have such a long time between, it's um, yeah, it just drags it a bit out. But um, 
but now we, I think we're very focused, especially for tomorrow. So if you had like a bad game five weeks ago, you, you, that's going to be in the back of the in mind for five weeks. Is that what you're saying? Or if you had a good one, you'll mm -hmm. be, you, you, you can't be upbeat for so long. You can't be, I don't know. No, not, in, not that it's in the head, but that you have to deal with it in different ways. Yeah. So you have to deal with it on the training field somehow or in your friendly games. Um, but yeah. That makes this cup run so much more important, given it's the longest pre-season in the world, to keep having competitive games. It makes the FA Cup really important. Yeah, it brings some important games during the long pre-season, um, but it's a cup. It's important. Right, it's another trophy at stake, so I want to get there. And there's only one way to get there, and that's through Rabia, So, What was the size of the pre-season, where you came from in Malaysia? Uh, around one month. Well, yeah, depending a bit when we met in, but around one month. And, and in Europe? In Europe, that's a long time back. I have to think five years back almost. Uh, no, it's also around a month, I reckon. Two weeks off, come back, one month, five yeah, weeks. Yeah, it's four months. Yeah, it's three and a half, four months. It's a long time. I understand for you guys, it's also important for you guys when it comes to TV yeah. and, yeah, but it comes to TV, you guys have a lot of other sports also very important. Like in Denmark, it's mostly about football, right? So here you have other sports also important. So everything has to be fitted in in order to, to get a good crowd as well.